Welcome to Far Cry 6, it's Abyss, and in this video, I'm going to talk about some tips and tricks that I wish I knew earlier. Alright, so let's get started. First up is superhero landing. So if you're tired of jumping off of a 5 foot cliff and falling to your death, giving you flashbacks of Witcher 3, then you want to get this backpack as soon as possible. The perk on this is called Thrust Forward, and while you're in mid-air, you press the jump button and it's going to do a dash while you're in the air. This right here can save you from dying. So right before I'm going to hit the ground, I'm going to hit the jump button and this will prevent me from dying. I will take a little bit of damage and in most situations you'll probably take no damage at all. Just time the jump button right before you hit the ground. Superhero landing! So real quick, in order to unlock these backpacks you're going to need uranium. Here's a map with the locations to every single one of them. When you go to any one of the locations there's always a map right there. So you can quickly take a picture with your phone or just pause the video right now and take one. Next is EMP arrows. So you're going to find out real quickly in the game that helicopters can be very annoying and your potato gun is doing no damage to them at all. So what you're going to want to do is head to a workbench and you want to mod your arrows to EMP arrows or you can actually do blast arrows that will be helpful too. But I like to use the EMP arrows because most of the time the helicopter will come right to the ground and then you can take over it. But just have some type of EMP ammo on you so this way you can get rid of those annoying helicopters. Okay, so next is the hideout network. So there's three different camps with three different storylines. Once you get to one of the camps, the very first thing you wanna do is go to the foreman and unlock the hideout network. This is gonna unlock the wingsuit and airdrops. Extremely important, trying to get around the map very fast. Next up is Chorizo is the bomb. Yes, our cute and adorable little puppy is probably one of the best features in the game, but you can actually turn him into a bomb. Now I wasn't the person to come up with this, someone left a comment on another one of my videos but I tried it out and it worked pretty good. So you can throw a piece of C4 onto his head and then send him in to go distract an enemy. Once he gets close enough to him or whenever you're ready, you can set off the bomb. The good news is you will see in this video that the little guy does not get hurt at all. He will come right back to me all happy and proud. But you can do this to any one of your companions. Just throw some C4 on them, go and send them in to distract the enemy, and then set it off once you're ready. Also if you remember the little guy is going to show you an item box that has a mysterious key. This key you can use on the first island. So I'm going to quickly show you the location to the chest where you can use this key and in it is a unique rifle. Next I'm going to show you how to avoid the anti-aircrafts. So if you haven't destroyed every single one of them yet, you can still fly your helicopter around. But you're going to need to fly it very low. Now if you fly it too high, it will detect you and destroy your helicopter. So you're going to need to fly it low enough to where it won't detect you. So if you remember earlier in the video, I showed you a map to the locations to all the uranium. Every single spot, there's going to be some uranium there and there's going to be an anti-aircraft there. So I recommend killing two birds with one stone. When you get the uranium, go and destroy the anti-aircraft. But if you haven't did that yet, you can still fly around undetected, but you're going to have to fly very low to the ground. Next up is scanning vehicles. So if you like to collect all the different rides that are in the game, you can scan them and they will be added to your inventory. There's only one thing to note. Enemy vehicles cannot be scanned. So you're going to have to actually get into them and then drop them off but all the other regular vehicles can be scanned and automatically added to your inventory. And another thing to note is you can actually scan the wild horses that you run into. You can't do the enemy horses because those will have to be dropped off just like the vehicles. But if you run into any kind of horse that you find out in the wild, you can scan them too and they will be automatically added to your inventory. Next up is poison ammo. So if you're going to an area that has a bunch of enemies like a checkpoint or a base, poison ammo is great to have on one of your weapons. Like for example, when you go to a base, you shoot an enemy, that enemy is going to start fighting all the other enemies around. They'll either kill each other or the guy that you shot with the poison ammo will eventually die over time. This is a really easy way to clear out a base undetected by putting poison ammo on one of your snipers with a suppressor. You can just sit back, relax, and clear out a base without doing too much work. All right, so there's a setting that I recommend that you change in vision. It is the enemy outline. You wanna have that to a different color that is something bright like purple. And then the pickup outline color, you want it something bright again like pink. 
this will make it easier spotting enemies or if you're trying to locate items changing those two colors to something bright will help you out next is the slide takedown so for example if you got caught and now you can't do the stealth takedown just run straight at the enemy and slide into their feet you'll knock them down and then you'll be able to do a takedown another thing you can do while sliding is healing this will keep you moving faster versus that slow walk when you're healing next we're going to talk about hijacking vehicles and the easiest way to do this i recommend doing this with the horse it is a lot easier to get close enough to the vehicle with a horse versus another vehicle once you get close enough to it just hit the interaction button and you'll automatically hijack the vehicle after that you can bring it back to your base there is a trophy size achievement for hijacking a vehicle and bringing them back in mint condition once you get close enough to that base and you're right there just get out of the vehicle and then repair the vehicle and then turn the vehicle in but the easiest way to hijack a vehicle is with a horse So next I'm going to show you the locations to four unique weapons that you can get as soon as you start the game. One thing I recommend doing is grabbing a horse. This way you can get to these locations fast. All you have to do is loot the chest and you will be able to get this unique weapon. There is four of them that I'm going to show you to and then I'll speed up the clip a little bit and show you how to get them. They are very simple and easy to get and you can get them as soon as you start the game. And the last thing is not really a tip or a trick. I just want to show you the location to the Assassin's Creed Easter egg. If you're a fan of Assassin's Creed like I am, then you're definitely going to want to check this out. Now, if there's any other tips and tricks you would like to add, then please leave them in the comments down below. Other than that, I hope you all enjoy the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video to help support the channel. And I will see you next time.